Hey guys, it's just uh, Tanoi here from Vox Seminole. Uh, we've just got a bit of a, a little bit of a unboxing to come here. Uh, there'll be a review of this particular product on the Vox Seminole website, which is just voxseminole.com. Uh, today we'll take a look at the Razer Cacheris headset. Now we've just got these for uh, Xbox 360, Call of Duty, and Halo Reach teams. Uh, I know it's a bit of an interesting choice, especially for console, but. Um, we went for something with some good size ear cups, uh, good microphone, just so we can get the guys, you know, at the top of their game. Um, so we do a bit of an unbox. Now we'll also have an article with some more tech specifications and things like that, and a bit of a review from me, obviously, because I'm going to do a road test on these. Um, so yeah, so we'll do a bit of an unbox, and yeah, like I said, go to voxemraw.com to see the full article. So to start with, we'll remove our very pretty plastic sleeve to protect the, the casing. Now, this is always the really funny thing with unboxings is the, <laughs> the amount of difficulty you actually have getting things out of the box. But this one, it's just got a little sticker on the top. It's always one of those situations where you sit down and think, my God, why didn't I just like, you know, bring some scissors in, but easy enough to remove. Now we'll slide the tab out at the back. Actually, I'll give you a look at the box first. Here's our box. For our car areas. It's just got the um, product details on one side. You've got a special note from a very cool guy, which is a uh, uh, Razor guy. It's got a note from him on the side. And obviously the, you can see the product in the casing as well. It's a very nice casing. It's you know it's good to see they put a lot of effort into the, the packaging, not just the product itself, just to you know make it feel that bit a bit more special. So we'll pop the lid open. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. This slides out of the box nice and easy. Here's our headset here. Now we'll flip the flip the lid here. Of course I've just pushed the sticker down which makes it even harder to open. So we'll flip the bottom sticker off. Set that aside. We'll do the same for the one on the top. <coughs> okay so here's our headset here. As you can see it's got a very carefully wrapped uh, three meter braided cable with your standard audio fittings which is your 3.5 mil audio jacks now it's got a, another pretty standard feature you'll see which is your volume controls and obviously your mic on and off this isn't a powered headset this runs off your uh, sound cards ports so it's got a nice three meter braided cable now it's also got 50 millimeter padded cups they're very very soft and Actually, a little bit velvety, so they're really cool, um, which is good, you know, for guys with big ears like me. Now, obviously, you've got your uh, wide band adjustment where you can actually adjust to suit the size of your head. Obviously, I'll take the bigger size because, like I said, I've got big ears and a big head. Now, we've got our little plastic tabs on the side, we'll just take those off. Now, we've got our little boom microphone that's a unidirectional mic, so uh, obviously, they the usual placement for a unidirectional microphone is actually put it in front of your chin, don't put it in front of your mouth because honestly nobody wants to hear you know you breathing in mumble or vent or whatever you may use. So yeah so we'll just remove the plastic casing as you can see we've got a little Razer logo on the side as well. Now these are the um, these aren't your elite gaming headsets uh, these are actually you know these are your mid-range these are uh, they're about $80 Australian you can obviously get them at online retailers a little bit cheaper than that, which is pretty pretty standard. Uh, the PC teams, uh, their headset of choice is the Razer Megalodon, but obviously, uh, being USB, it won't work on an Xbox 360. So, what we have is, um, you know, we will give the Cacheries a, a test run and see how they go. So that that's pretty much it, guys. Obviously, you can see, you know, nice and flexible, but still relatively um, rigid as well. So they're you know, they're not super fragile. There's another Razer logo on the top. Um, I'll give these a bit of a road test. So like I said, foxemanol.com. Just check out the article and it'll have a bit of a, a rundown of my in-game experiences. Thanks for watching.